in this video i'm going to show you how to create or edit a subject now what is a subject subject is an organizational categorization of uh, either a case entity or a, a knowledge base entity so let me show you in action so once you create a new case uh, it will ask for some information like case title and uh, case number and you will see one uh, element called a subject so now when i click on subject it by default gives me some hierarchy so i can select it from the hierarchy and then i can specify what subject does it belongs to okay so let's assume i select this power automate okay and then i can just save my case now i need to fill in some customer records and i will save this case entity so while adding a case entity uh, i was presented with a subject so subject uh, allows me to uh, put the case against a specific category now similarly if i go to knowledge articles and if i create a new knowledge article then uh, it will allow me to uh, save this knowledge article and specify something called as a subject so i can specify uh, the hierarchy on which this knowledge article is based out of. So under publish settings, I can see subject. And then once I click on the drop down, I can select specific root items. Okay. And I can save the knowledge article. Okay. Now, how do we create a knowledge uh, <coughs> article subject? So uh, you need to navigate to customer service admin center for that. So once you're in the customer service admin center, now if you don't know how to navigate, you can always click on the apps list and navigate to the relevant app. So I was in customer service hub where I perform all the action. Now I'm in customer service admin center. Okay, so let me close this. Now, once I'm in customer service admin center, under customer support, if I go to case settings and you will see something called a subject over here, okay? I click on manage then i can see the subject tree from here i can add a root level item so let me add a root level item and call it as say microsoft okay. put the parent subject if i don't want to put the parent subject then it will be added into the root so i just save it and now this parent subject has been added now under that I can add a child element. So if I put title as say office and subject is Microsoft, I can save and close. So now I can see MS Office under it. Now I can also create one more level of hierarchy and I can say MS Excel and I'll just save it. Now let me put one more element called as uh, MS Word in it and I have an option to disable this item so that I don't want people to select this. Okay, so I can put the visibility feature mark as no. And if I click on save and close, you can see this hidden icon comes into picture. Okay, now I have my subject defined. Now I've added one more element, Microsoft, which was not there earlier. Now let me go and create <coughs> a, uh, say, case item. Now if I click on new case, and if I put some, say, value into case title, and if I click on subject, I should technically see the new item which I have recently added. So I can see Microsoft, which has been added recently. And once I expand it, I see MS Office and I see MS Excel. I don't see MS Word because MS Word is disabled. So that's it, folks. This is how you add a, uh, uh, a case items uh, subject uh, and which will help you to categorize your case item based on some hierarchy or you can use a similar uh, subject for specifying knowledge articles as well thanks for watching